next I would like to introduce Dr. Anton Simeonov. He's the scientific director of the Division of Preclinical Innovation here at NCATS, and he will be presenting to us the closing remarks. Uh, Anton, the stage is yours. Thank you, Serene, and everybody. This has been fantastic. I, I'd like to start from the ending, honestly, thanking Matt for a great summary of what we've been going through the past um, weeks, months, many days. Um, SARS-CoV-2 has been clearly part of our lives for um, I don't know how many days now, since mid-March or even earlier. And um, really it sums up the essence of AGM, the way we've been prosecuting the AGM over well over a decade and a half. The AGM started with our partnership with Eli Lilly back in 2004, 2005. Um, starting with a very modest, um, though highly detailed manual of how to do things with robotic equipment, how to set up assays, how to calculate um, Z prime factors and other stats. And then it really mushroomed into truly an open source platform for drug discovery, for early discovery. And I would venture to say it's now becoming a community of followers, community of practitioners, and community of disseminators. And really we see this not only on the NCAT side in terms of what we try to put into the AGM and how we try to disseminate it on our end, but also in terms of who actually participates in our events, who actually donates time and effort to edit chapters, to write new content, um, all of the above. Um, there's clearly very practical aspect to the AGM. Very junior team members need to learn very practical skills, techniques, um, analytical methods, etc. How to do their job better, and so on. There is also forward-looking aspect to the AGM. New techniques, risk taking exploration, building a community, building connections. Clearly with COVID-19, we cannot be meeting together in person. Some of you will know from your past experiences that um, we actually tried to have as many face-to-face -face events as possible, but Clearly, it's not scalable with costs, with locations, with travel. This one actually is a big success in terms of number of attendees. We actually have almost 400 um, registered attendees. Clearly, they're not all with us right now. It's the end of day two. But um, it's actually a good data point in terms of telling us what we should be doing going forward. So we do intend to continue the practice of um, virtual events and keep them on, on the schedule, whether there is um, COVID-19 vaccine or not. And really, in terms of exploration of future directions and technologies, you actually saw previews of this today with Matt's presentation at the end and others. So we intend to have COVID-19 related AGM symposium next year. 
you could have guessed this, and um, you could have guessed the other directions. We're really working hard to add content to the IgM to cover the topic of antibody therapeutics, antibody discovery. Antibodies are great companions to small molecule drug candidates or therapeutic approaches. And um, drug repurposing in general is a topic that stays with us um, for the foreseeable future. DNA encoded libraries, um, clearly a new direction, or dare I say, a refreshed, rebooted direction. The original DNA encoded libraries paper was published in 92. And the example given there was with peptide chemistry. So with advances in aqueous synthetic organic chemistry, informatics, and other technologies, DNA encoded libraries are back part of our lives now. They were part of the publication landscape years ago. Now they're integral part of drug discovery. So we intend to provide adequate coverage of those. Last but not least, um, SLAS, obviously very important player in this space, um, is planning to publish a special issue on AGM next year. We're happy to report to you that we have um, well over a dozen manuscripts being lined up for this special issue. So we're finalizing this and hope that through that issue and other efforts, we publicize the efforts of not only the quote unquote inner circle of AGM contributors, chapter editors, etc., but the community that we've actually built already and continue to build over the next year. So um, with the risk of being tacky, um, I will say the state of AGM is strong. Thank you. This is the end of our workshop. Thank you everyone, all the speakers for wonderful talks. Uh, thank you all the attendees. We are very appreciative of your time. I hope you found our workshop extremely beneficial and hopefully you will join us in the future at any of the focus topic, uh, uh, topic focus workshop we're going to run in 2021 and further. Uh, stay connected with us. I showed you today many ways you can connect with us and hopefully you can also browse the essay guidance manual ebook and uh, you find it very beneficial. With this, I would like to adjourn the workshop and um, everyone have a great evening. Thank you very much again for everything.